Hey everyone and welcome. Today we're tackling a really interesting problem called maximum Manhattan distance after K changes. It sounds a bit complicated, but don't worry. We're going to break it down into simple, easy to understand pieces. Let's get started. All right, so here's the deal. We're given a string of moves, like north, south, east and west. We start at the center of a grid, at position 0, 0, and follow these instructions one by one. Now here's the twist. We're also given a number, k, which is the number of cheats or changes we're allowed to make. We can change any move in the string to any other move, up to k times. The goal is to find the biggest Manhattan distance we can get from the starting point at any moment during our walk. And just as a reminder, the Manhattan distance is simply how many steps you'd take horizontally, plus how many steps you'd take vertically to get from the start to your current position. Let's walk through the example to see what this means. Our path is NWSE, and we have one change, so K is 1. Without any changes, the path shown on the slide gives us a maximum distance of 2, but can we do better with our one change? Think about it. After two moves, N then W, we're at position minus 1, 1. Our distance is 2. The next move is S blacks, which moves us back towards the origin. That's not good for maximizing distance. What if we use our one change right there? Instead of S, let's change it to another N. Our new path is N W N E. Let's trace it. North, then West. We're at minus one, one. Distance is two. Now our changed move, another North. We move to minus one, two. What's the distance now? One step left and two steps up. That's a total of three. That's better than the two we had before. The final move E brings us to zero, two which is a distance of 2. So, by using our one change smartly, we reached a maximum distance of 3. This is the core of the problem. Where and how do we use our k changes to get the farthest away? So how do we find the best strategy? Trying every possible change would be way too slow. We need a smarter idea. The key insight is that the problem asks for the maximum distance at any time. This means we should check the potential maximum distance after every single step. At each step, we're at some position on the grid, we want to make our distance, which is the absolute value of x, plus the absolute value of y, as big as possible. To do that we need moves that work together like north and east, not moves that fight each other like north and south. So what's the best way to use one of our precious changes? The most powerful thing we can do is resolve a conflict. For example, if our path has a north and a south, they cancel each other out vertically. But if we change that south to a north, we've done two things. We've removed a move that was hurting us, and we've added a move that's helping us. The net effect on our final vertical position is a change of 2. This means each fix can add 2 to our total Manhattan distance. Okay, so here's the full strategy. We'll walk along the path, one step at a time. At each step, let's say we've taken L steps so far. First, we'll count how many north, south, easts, and wests we've seen in those L moves. Second, we calculate how many conflicts we have. A north and a south form one vertical conflict, an east and a west form a horizontal one. So the total number of conflicts is the smaller of the north-south counts, plus the smaller of the east-west counts. Finally, we just have to compare our budget K to the number of conflicts we found. This leads us to two simple cases. First, what if our change budget K is greater than or equal to the number of conflicts? This is the best case scenario. It means we have enough power to fix every single north-south and east-west disagreement. We can make all the moves work together, sending us on a straight diagonal path away from the start. In this situation, the maximum possible Manhattan distance is simply the number of steps we've taken, which is L. Now for the second case, what if our budget K is less than the number of conflicts? Well, we can't fix everything, but we can still use our K changes to fix K conflicts. The maximum distance we can get is the distance from the moves that already agree with each other, plus an extra two for every single one of the K changes we're allowed to make. This lets us calculate the best possible distance, even when we can't make the path perfect. Alright, here's the complete Python code that puts our strategy into action. I know it might look like a bit much at first glance, but it's really just following the simple logic we just discussed. Let's break it down piece by piece. First, we set up a few variables. One to keep track of the best distance we've seen so far, and four more to count the north, south, east and west moves. Then, we start a loop that goes through our input string, one move at a time. Inside the loop it's really simple. We just check what the current move is and increase the matching counter. Now for the heart of the algorithm, which happens inside that loop. First we get the total number of steps taken so far. Then we calculate the number of conflicting pairs, just like we planned. 
the smaller of the north-south counts, plus the smaller of the east-west counts. Next we check if our change budget K is enough to fix all those pairs. If it is, the current best distance is just the number of steps. If not, we calculate the distance using our other formula, the base from non-conflicting moves, plus 2 for every change we make. Finally, we compare this potential distance with the best one we've seen so far, and we update our maximum if we've found a new winner. So how efficient is our solution? It's really fast. The time it takes to run is directly proportional to the length of the input string, which we call big O of n time. This is because we only have to walk through the string a single time, and for memory, we only ever use a handful of variables to store our counts and the max distance. This doesn't change no matter how long the string is, so we call that constant space, or big O of 1. It's about as efficient as you can get. So let's quickly recap the main ideas. First the problem asks for the maximum distance at any time, which was our clue to check the potential distance after every single step. The core insight was that the most powerful way to use a change is to resolve a conflict between opposing moves, which adds 2 to our potential distance. And finally, our whole strategy boiled down to a simple comparison. Do we have enough changes to fix all the conflicts or not? Answering that question tells us exactly how to calculate the maximum possible distance at each step. And that's it. I hope this breakdown helped make the problem and its solution feel a lot more approachable. If you found this helpful, please hit that like button, subscribe for more leak code explanations, and feel free to drop any questions in the comments below. And hey, if you're feeling extra generous, you can always support the channel through the Boba Fund. Thanks for watching, keep up the great work and I'll see you in the next one.